Doug Ford is making it a law that if future governments try to change or implement a new carbon tax, that they have to face a referendum. And this is kind of weird because conservatives in Canada tend to be very anti-referendum. The other weird thing is that the only reason we have a carbon tax in Ontario is because Doug Ford got rid of the cap and trade program that actually used to generate billions of dollars for the Ontario government. Because Ford says that he wants to give citizens a direct say over any new provincial carbon tax, cap and trade system, or other carbon pricing program. Now, if Pierre Poilievre ever becomes the Prime Minister of Canada, Pierre says that he's going to axe that tax, which means that there won't be a carbon tax anyway. So there's no real logic behind Doug Ford trying to do this other than him maybe trying to win some votes. While the Conservatives aren't currently polling poorly, they might in the future. They're already starting to lose some ground to Bonnie Crombie and the Liberals. But yeah, Doug Ford really hates the carbon tax. He hates it so much that he actively gave Ontario a carbon tax. And then he put unconstitutional stickers on the gas pumps to remind us of the carbon tax that he gave us by blaming it on Trudeau. Once again, Ontario had carbon pricing when Harper was Prime Minister. Ontario's system worked with Quebec and with California, and it was held up in high regards globally as an example of a carbon pricing system that could work. A carbon pricing system that fits within the capitalist framework and one that is, technically speaking, a conservative economic idea. Because cap and trade incentivizes companies that produce less carbon emissions and it actually gives them money for creating less emissions. But instead, Doug Ford gave us the carbon tax and now he's making it impossible to change back to a cap and trade system. Because the conservative premiers will do everything in their power to make the system as bad as possible even when it is their own fault so that they can blame it on Trudeau. I've said it before and I'll say it again, Doug Ford can't govern.